Hey guys, today I'm going to cook some frozen chicken tenders in the slow cooker. So let's get crocking. I have a bag of these frozen chicken breast tenderloins here. And um, these are frozen, like I said, and they're in a 15% uh, chicken broth. So they're already kind of salty, so I'm not going to add any salt to those. I just put four of them in there, just enough for me. But you can put as much as you want, as many as you want. And um, I took this lemon and squeezed it, kind of strained it to get the seeds out. And I'm just going to pour this lemon juice over the chicken. And um, let it cook in that. I guess you could use kind of any kind of juice or seasoning. You could use barbecue sauce. You could use hot sauce, whatever you wanted to, to put those in. And that's the only liquid I'm going to add. And I'm going to add just a little bit of cayenne pepper. That'll give it just a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit of uh, heat, a little bit of spice, so I have a little tanginess and then a little bit of heat. So not too much, just a little bit. Then we'll get the lid on there. I turned this off after an hour and a half, and these have been sitting for about a half hour cooling. So let me grab a couple out of there and we'll try them out. I've got some homegrown tomatoes and homegrown squash from my garden here. Let's see how this chicken turned out. Grab a little piece there. That yeah, looks pretty good. Chicken breast's always a little bit dry. Well, it's been sitting a while too. I should have probably <laughs> got it out of there sooner. But anyway, it has kind of a nice tang to it. I like it. It's kind of refreshing. And you get that little bit of heat from the cayenne pepper at the end. So I like it. I'm not sure what Annie will think about this with that cayenne pepper on it, but we'll give her a little piece and see what happens. <laughs> well, it looks like she liked it. <laughs> so those were in there an hour and a half on high. If you cook them on low, probably add an extra hour or so. And if you use more chicken, the cooking time will probably be Longer as well, but chicken breast does dry out, so don't leave it in there too long. Just get it out once it's cooked through. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.